Tinky's Dream Disco! I just want to be rich. Well, you gotta work hard. What if I don't want to work hard? What? Well, why didn't you say so? Do you want to know how the big boys make money? Yeah. Well, have you ever heard of a derivative? Like calculus? No, even dumber. Let me tell you about a credit default swap. It's a magic derivative to make you lots of money. Here, watch this. Let's say uh, Alex needs 50 bucks. So uh, he goes to Misha. He's like, hey, Misha, can I get 50 bucks? And Misha's like, yeah, sure, here's 50 bucks. And I was like, hey, thanks, I'll pay you back. And uh, Misha's like, cool. But then he uh, starts thinking, uh, what if Alex doesn't pay me back? But he's got an idea. He goes over to a financial expert and says, hey, can you uh, make sure Alex pays me back? And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll do it for uh, four bucks. I'll pay you back. I'll pay you 50 if Alex doesn't pay you. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. And the financial's like, all right, neat, I made four bucks. But really, He's pretty smart. Actually, he's a genius. He did his homework. He knows Alex got great credit. Alex always pays people back. So the financial book doesn't even have 50 bucks if Alex didn't pay back. It's so clever. The financial book does this to tons of people and he makes tons of dollars. He gets rich and it's safe because I mean people pay back. It's smart. Yeah. That was really cool. Uh -huh. But what if Alex doesn't pay him back? Don't be stupid! Why wouldn't Alex pay him back? Besides, AIG does this all the time, and they make billions! I want more! Well, today's letters are C-D-O! What do they stand for? Well, I'll tell you. C-D-O stands for Collateralized Debt? Obligation. Now that's a mouthful, but really what it means is that a smart asset manager, our financial expert here, gets some investors to invest some money. Now, in his smart portfolio, which uh, let's say is uh, represented by this bottle, they give him some money, like any investors would, and he goes out and buys securities. They give you whatever you want, loans, debts, whatever. But let's do mortgages, because the housing industry is doing so good. The mortgages are these little houses in the bottle. Now, he's got to make a capital structure. Let's make his capital structure uh, represented by these tiers of glasses. And uh, now we're going to get a, uh, a rating on them. Now, uh, up here top is the safest. They're AAA. And then you got AA. And then you got triple B. And, you know, well, why not? Even a fourth row, let's call these double B. They're not so hot. They're a little risky. Now, every month, these mortgages pay interest. And the interest goes into these cups. Now these cups have returns on them. See, the AAA gets 3% because it's the safest, and then it goes all the way down to the risky 10%. Now, as long as these houses pay mortgages, and the interest on these mortgages gets paid out, then it goes into these cups. Everyone gets paid. Everyone's happy. It's the perfect scheme. I mean, idea. Now, let's take this a step further. We can have another asset manager here, and he's going to make a portfolio for investors to invest in. But instead of mortgages or other things, he's going to put in the cups from the last CDO. So he's making a CDO on a CDO. So he's got a capital structure of cups. And, uh, you know, these cups, just like the last cups, get rated too. They're same thing, triple A, double A, triple B, and all the way down to double B. Now, when they get paid out, it fills the cups, just like before. But now these cups have to wait for the mortgages to be paid from the other bottle to fill those cups. So it goes from our original portfolio into this new portfolio into the cups. It's great. That seems really easy. Uh-huh. How do I get a AAA rating? Well, you gotta go to a credit rating agency. <laughs> Which one? Well, let's see. You could go to Moody's. Uh, but if you don't like what they say, you go to Standard & Poor's. And if you don't like what they say, you can even go that little dummy Fitch! But, but what if my security isn't really worth a AAA? Oh, well that's the beauty, Misha! They're experts! And besides, they're not regulated! So they'll say whatever you want! They really want your money! So they're just gonna lie? Well, it's not lying if everyone's doing it! Here, I got a little song for you! 
You gotta be brutal if you want to survive. You gotta lie, cheat, and steal to be one of the guys. Wall Street's making money and they're making it fast. Gotta hop on the gravy train or you're gonna be last. Uncle Sam's being real nice Making this a real blast With rates so low You can sell these mortgages You can sell them so fast And you gotta be brutal If you wanna last Yeah